Hello everyone. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be swatching out and comparing my three PB16 Thalo turquoises. Uh, now, Thalo turquoise is a color that's recommended to me quite often by commenters. Yeah, it seems very popular. Um, I can see why. It's a very beautiful color. But for me, I've never really seen any need for it in my palette. Um, I just tend to stick with a PB15 Thalo blue. Okay, so let's look at the first one here. Uh, first up is Da Vinci Thalo Turquoise. One of the first things I notice is it doesn't move that much on the wet paper. Da Vinci, they're usually quite active. Um, yeah, it does look very nice though. Uh, yeah, it's lovely and transparent. Uh, next up we have the Holbein Marine Blue. Okay, right away I can see this one is a lot greener than the Da Vinci. Um, I'm not sure how well it comes across on the video under this artificial lighting. Wow, this one really is a beautiful color. And finally, we have the Windsor Newton Thalo Turquoise. Oh, I think I picked up a bit too much out of the pan here. Yeah, it's a bit dark. It's definitely not as green as the Holbein. Um, but yeah, again, it's a very nice color. I think I say this about every Windsor and Newton paint. Um, yeah, they're all just so nice to paint out. Okay, so here they all are in better light. Wow, there's quite a big drying shift. Um, yeah, you can definitely see how much greener the Holbein is now. It does really make me think of tropical water, actually. I think marine blue was definitely a good name for it. Uh, the Da Vinci looks okay. Um, it is very blue. Yeah, I wonder how much different this one actually is to a PB15-3. I mean, it's the same with the Windsor Newton. Um, I painted it a bit dark. Yeah, it's a very, very beautiful color, but is it that much different from a, a Thalo Blue green shade? Obviously, if I paint them out side by side, they're going to be very, they're going to be different. But in terms of mixing, yeah, I think it, if I wanted a green leaning blue, I'd go for a PB15. I imagine it's more versatile and it's definitely cheaper. So here's a quick um, mixing exercise. I just wanted to see how the phthalo turquoises mix with um, uh, yellows I might have on my palette, like a raw sienna and a lemon yellow and a, you know, a more middle yellow. As you can see, they basically create near enough the same mixes, which I suppose is to be expected. They are the same pigment, of course. Um, I'd say any real variations are more down to me not getting the ratios exactly right. Yeah, all the greens look pretty good here, I think. And then I thought I should probably include my usual Thalo Blue Red shade to see if the mixes are any different. And there's not really as big a difference as I was expecting. I thought the mixes with the Thalo Turquoise would be miles better. Mm, 
Okay, so while the greens mixed with the PB16 are definitely cleaner, I'd say, you know, as you'd expect, I still think I prefer the greens from the Thalo Blue Red shade. You may disagree, of course, but, you know, maybe, maybe I've just got used to using them. I don't know. So my final verdict on these Thalo Turquoise PB16s, um, I think they're beautiful colours. Yeah, they're really, really nice, actually. Um, I especially like the Holbein. But I think for someone like me who uses or likes to use a more limited palette, I'd just say stick with a Thalo Blue. I prefer the Thalo Blue. It's not just for mixing, but I also like to use it to paint skies. I'd say the PB16 would be far too green for that, in my opinion. And of course, a Thalo Blue is cheaper, in general. But if you particularly love this pigment and this colour, or if you work with a larger palette of colours, then I think I would, yeah, I would recommend it. Um, yeah, you can use it to mix some lovely greens, of course, and... I think it's very, very useful for marine and seascape painting. Um, I think I'll actually probably keep some around for that purpose. So, are you a fan of Thalo Turquoise PB16? I know a lot of you out there are. Um, it does seem to be quite a popular pigment. Um, do you have it on your palette as well as or instead of a Thalo Blue? Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Um, I'd also like to hear what you use it for. Is it for painting seascapes? Do you paint skies with it? Or is it mainly for mixing greens? I'd also quite like to know what else you like to mix with it. I mean, can it really give you any mixes that a PB15-3 can't? Thank you all very much for watching. I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye-bye.